Okay, so I recently had another question from someone that wanted to know why weren't they losing much weight after doing keto for an entire month? I think they lost like five pounds, okay? And their husband lost a lot more. Okay, so let's just kind of cover that because if that comes up for you, this may help you. The key or essence of how to get results with intermittent fasting and keto is to decrease insulin. That's the most important thing you need to focus on. And that would be two things. One is lower your carbs. Number two, decrease the frequency of eating. So if you're doing three meals a day, you gotta go to two meals a day. If you're doing two meals a day, and let's say you're 50 years old and you're menopausal and your hormones are slow, you gotta graduate to one meal a day. It might take some time, but that's what you're gonna need simply because there could be an underlying problem with insulin that's so stubborn, insulin resistance, that it's just not gonna happen uh, unless you really cut down the frequency of consuming food. Now, the other point I wanna make is adjusting your fats. Um, people have this idea that the ketogenic diet is a high fat diet and you need to consume more fat, like that's gonna help you burn fat. Not necessarily. Um, there's two types of fat. You have your, your fat on your body that you wanna get rid of, and then you got the dietary fat. The more you increase your dietary fat, well guess what? The less that you're probably gonna burn on your own body's reserve. Okay, now fat is helpful and necessary for a couple reasons. Number one, you need it for all the cellular membranes, for all the hormones, for your brain, your nervous system. So we need that for structural purposes. We also need it to help you be satisfied so you can go long periods of time without eating. Other than that, you don't really need it. So in the beginning when you're doing intermittent fasting, it's very helpful. But as you adapt and you're not hungry between meals and you're not craving, the need for dietary fat goes down. Why? Because we want to force your body to focus on burning off your reserve. So I wouldn't add any extra fat other than the fats that's already in the proteins that you're consuming, okay? And that's gonna help you. So in other words, cut down the dietary fat that you're doing if, things, if you want to speed things up. The other point I want to make is that how is your waist, your clothes, okay? Are you losing inches? If you are, then you know it's working versus the scale simply because a lot of people start building a muscle mass and that does have a heavier weight. Uh, it has less volume. So you're gonna shrink in size, uh, but maybe not in weight because you're building muscle at the same time as you're losing. And that's just a factor you need to look at, okay? And are your clothes feeling looser? Just realize that's a really good indicator that it is working. In your mind, you might be thinking, that you need to be losing at least two pounds a week to know that it's working, when in fact, that's not true, okay, at all. If you're losing inches, especially in the beginning, that means it is working. The last thing I want you to do is give up when in fact it's working, when you think it's not working, and stop the progress, okay? So that's actually very common, by the way. So you just have to understand about the scale and that scale is only one indicator that it's working. You have other indicators, inches lost, energy level, cravings going away, less hungry, skin improved. Look at the whole picture because it's about getting healthy first. The other thing you wanna do is focus on your sleep quantity and quality. There are things that you can do, videos that you can watch that I've done on increasing your sleep quality and the amount of sleep. That's gonna actually speed things up tremendously. Also reducing your stress because of the high cortisol. If you're worrying about losing weight 24 seven, believe it or not, that could have the potential to spike cortisol a little bit more than it should, um, and that can slow you down. So you almost wanna do the program, not worry about it, not think about it, not obsess about it, and just let the body do its thing. But it does take a little time. That's why we call you a patient. And that's in fact why we have a waiting room. You didn't know that, yeah, that's why. All right, thanks for watching. So press the subscribe button, and this is misspelled, so I can't spell. So I'm gonna have to add that in here. Okay, take two. Press the subscribe button, and I, I can't even say this. Um, press the, okay, geez, let me do that over again. Press the subscribe button, press, just press this button right here, subscribe. Okay, that one right there. Just do it right now.
What's the next part? What am I going to say? Take five, do it, and where am I going with this? Press the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the future events.